Hi, I'm Evan Reinheimer. I'm on a boat in the Mediterranean right now on the Italian Riviera in front of the village of Rio Maggiore. I've got my kite in the air, I've got my camera on the kite line, and I'm uh, photographing the village of Rio Maggiore. <laughs> Thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to share with you the story behind my photograph of Rio Maggiore, the Italian village on the Cinque Terre coast of Italy. In September of 2018, I traveled to Rio Maggiore, which is a little village on the Italian Riviera coast in the Cinque Terre region. Cinque Terre is made up of five different villages, hence the name. Cinque Terre. Rio Maggiore is the furthest south of the five villages there, and it's where I chose to stay on this trip, because it was the place that I wanted to photograph the most. To get there, I flew direct from New York to Milan. From the airport in Milan, you can easily get to the central station in the city, and then from there take a train out to the Cinque Terre coast. Surprisingly, there aren't a whole lot of hotels in the Cinque Terre area to stay in, so I rented this apartment in Rio Maggiore, which was really nice. There were these nice windows that opened up over the main street in Rio Maggiore, and it was nice to just kind of sit up there and people watch. The main place I wanted to photograph in Cinque Terre is the waterfront of Rio Maggiore. So what I did is I rented a motorboat from the nearby town of La Spezia, and then I was able to drive the boat from there out to the Cinque Terre coast, and then my plan was to fly my kite off of the boat and photograph the village from the water. The wind on the day that I was doing this uh, was forecast to be a little bit stronger than it actually turned out to be. I thought for a little while that I might have to actually have my girlfriend Katie drive the boat while I stood on the bow of the boat and used the wind that's created by the boat moving to actually fly my kite and camera up into the air. And then thankfully the wind picked up just enough that I was able to use my lightest wind kite to get my camera up into the air safely. I had to use my 10 foot tall Rokoku kite, which was really difficult to set up on the boat because the boat was, I think it was 17 feet, but this kite is 10 feet long and like eight feet wide. So it was really left us no room to really stand on the boat while I was setting the kite up. But thankfully there was enough wind to get the kite up into the air out in front of the village there and then lift my camera into the air to take the photograph. I just love how this photograph came out. The best view of all the village in Cinque Terre really is from the water. If you do ever visit, uh, there is a boat that goes between all five towns and it's worth getting on the boat just to go sightseeing and see each village from the water. The Mediterranean water in this area is really gorgeous too. It's super clear and like this nice dark royal blue. Thankfully, we were able to do some swimming while we were there and really get to enjoy that coastal Mediterranean water. Alright, well, that's the story about how I took my photograph of Rio Maggiore in Italy. I hope you're enjoying these throwback travel videos and stories behind the artwork that I'm sharing with you guys. Please take the time to subscribe to my channel now so that you'll know when I post new videos. And remember to like this video if you enjoyed it. Thanks again for watching.